Hello, welcome back to Shadow Empire. First off, um, thank you very uh, much to the keen-eyed viewer who noticed I was I was not on the most up-to-date version. This game, as far as I understand, is being made by just one guy, and I guess he's pretty quick with the updates. Um, and and I was I was behind a bit, so I fixed that up. You may notice there's a few new buttons uh, around there. There's all kinds of new stuff we can take a look at here. Uh, also, uh, I have gone and done a, a bit of learning, so I, I I know a few more things than I knew before about what's going on here. And I will do my best to explain and maybe fix some of my goofs from before. Um, now, I, a lot of folks mentioned in those first, I recorded those first two episodes together, but a lot of folks mentioned in those first ones, like, game's complex, it's too complex, there's too much to it. Too much of a complexity hill at the start of this thing. But, really, once you get into it, it's just an old-fashioned war game. We've got, I mean, it's hex style, we've got our troops out on the lines, they all have a supply, they've got, uh, they've, they've got, um... They need food, they need ammo, we gotta deal with our logistics, which we'll deal with here in a minute. And they all have a number of troops, we send them out, we conquer the world. That's basically what's going on here. Uh, we can see there's other folks, other, obviously there's other factions out there. We've got Hornstadt, which you know is a major regime. These are the major civs if you're playing Civilization or something, and, and they're gonna be ones out building armies, doing the same thing we're doing. We got minor folks, there's an online folks, which are just like, just random randos and, and, and alien bugs. Uh, and there's a few of the minor regimes, which is like little minor towns. Um, our main goal, though, and really our only goal, is just to just expand our territory as much as possible. Just get big and then conquer. Maybe not necessarily in that order. So Deniba over here, we could easily just walk in there. Well, not easily walk in there, but we can focus that if we want to and start taking these main towns. Because those main towns are a very big bonus for us. So, let's run down a couple of things. I'm not going to spend the whole time just yammering on things. And also, I'm not a tutorial man for this game. Certainly not, so don't take me for uh, teaching. But I'll do my best to kind of get a, a rundown of what what uh, was going on here, at least. Um, one very important thing here. You may notice that he's got all these little yellow spots on my trucks here. Oh, no, these guys. These guys are green. This is our supply. So, these guys over here. We can see the yellow. We can see what's going on with it. These are the, the, the 3rd Neutron Flats Guard Battalion. So, there is 600 Rifle Militia right here, or 400 Rifle Militia and, and 200 RPG Militia. And they are receiving and requesting certain amounts of things. They requested five units of food. They only got four, though, because they're so far away from home. And these guys, who are pretty close to home, they got their five food. They didn't need any ammo, so they didn't request any. And they also requested some troops to replenish them. When I made this unit, I didn't have enough supplies, and so we only made, like, half units. And so we can actually go in here into the button that says replenish troops. And we got 2,700 troops that are requested from those divisions. They're saying, hey, give us some people. And I'm saying, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so uh, we can actually do that. We can spend a lot of units here, a lot of, of supplies, and produce that. And they will just sort of slowly refill their ranks and get back to where they need to be. And cr we'll create a proper, you know, we'll refill our army, basically, over time. We can go and do what we did before where I went and just made a... Uh, a formation, but we can also just replenish what we've got. Uh, who's up this way? Who are you? We don't know who that. Is. Oh, that's we don't know who that is. But this is Orfrost. They're unclear. They're also raiders. They're probably going to hate us. So we can deal. We'll probably have to go deal with them. Um, that's Orfrost as well. I think they already don't like us. That number you can see thirty-seven. So they kind of like us over here. I don't know what blackmail means. They are blackmailer, major regime. We don't know anything about their culture. These guys are unclear. We got Deniba over here. Again, unclear. Thirty. Now, we do have peace, though, with up here with the, um, the, the deep hole. Deep, with deep hole. And 47 is pretty good. And they, and they sort of like us. Uh, another thing I wanted to talk about also, real quick before we get properly into this, uh, is my tech. And, um, so, we, uh, not this one. I wanted this one. So, with each one of these things, mine, for instance, does it tell me here if I highlight it? No, not quite. So, we, we've gained our, our fascination technology. Technology... Fascination. Okay, it's the other way around. And so we've gained a card, the infiltration card, which gives us that thing. We also gained uh, a techno mage, which is a unit feature. So I think this thing just sort of happens every once in a while. Our units just sort of gain this ability. Anyone attacking themselves with a 50% penalty in their attack because we know how to deal with drones and sensor gadgets. So this is sort of, we're going to be the, we're the, the nerd army, if you want to focus on mind. With each uh, 10 units of these things, starting at 40, we can start gaining these bits. So we hit 45th, so we're at 1% of volunteerism. If we hit 50, we'll get into war lust. 60, we'll take esperate, you know, and it goes all the way. Um, so ideally, we want to keep things at least up a little bit so we can get some of these things sticking in until I really know what I want to be doing. Um, and I think that's the basic stuff. 
Um, let's go back to the map here and look at look at this um, logistics here. So we can see our points of logistics. They're, most of them are heading out this way, and you can see it's not quite enough to feed this line over here. I mean, we can actually go in here and do all kinds of ridiculous things and set up. Is it this way I want to do it? Um, I think it's that one, and I can hit. Um, let's see here. I think it's that one. T. There it is. So we can set up our our track signs. So where the logistics are going, we can we can sort of force them one way if we're all going one way, and, and close off the roads the other way. So it helps bring those supplies down. Also, um, this transport hub, which we which is what's carrying all my stuff. This is a private business. So basically, we've got UPS here is is in town in Neutron Flats here. We we're just packing up ammo and, and fuel and whatever, and giving it to them and letting them ship it out. This would certainly work a lot better if we own the transport hub, uh, which I can't nationalize. I'm not sure why I can't. Sometimes you can, like this scavenging hub. I could buy this and make it a public thing. Uh, I guess I can go build my own if I wanted to, because if I build it myself, it's a lot more efficient than letting them deal with it, because they're trying to deal with the people. There's another thing we can do, though. Let me go chat with uh, with old uh, Oscar here, and we'll call the governor of Neutron Flats. All right, I got some orders for you, buddy. It cost me two points for this. I got a lot to spend. All right, so his orders for um, for neutron flats, so we can we can actually give them public money, and we can say, you know what, go out and, and spend money building better transport hubs or better schools or whatever we we want, and we can deal with that and let the let the public deal with it, or I can say no money for you and I deal it myself. Um, we can also pay the workers more money. We can we can pay less money to recruits, so we don't have to deal with so many of them coming in. We can give them call in a sign up bonus if we want people. Um, if you need emergency food, go for it. You know, take that. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, this is a regular zone. We can forbid population to buy free folk if we want. We can change the name of the town. I mean, yeah, let's go with uh, Nookstone is the name of this town. Uh, I'll reset everything. Um, let's go with... Uh, I'm just going to put a little bit of money. Just a little bit of money. Like, how much money do I have? I got some money. Let's do like 14 bucks. And we're going to put it into... Um, that right, that fix it. Yeah, we're gonna put it into the public, so they can do and go build what they want to build. And this will help them out over time, and it'll help me out also. Not quite as well, but you know. Yes, sir. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I say. All right, uh, we do have a decision here. The militia wants extra funds. Sudden lack of fuel. The militia leadership could really use some emergency funds. They demand a sum of six hundred credits. So this is my militia, not my army, and we want to keep them happy though, for sure. So, do I have a lack of fuel? Is that what's going on? Um, do I? Got plenty of oil. I'm not sure. Uh, we want a strong militia force. We need to keep them re good relations. And uh, everyone seems to think this is a good idea. If I say no, then everyone's going to hate me a lot. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, I'll do it. Roger that. All right. Roger that. Okay. So there's our decisions for the day. Um, we can see over there. This is where we can see this. There's our list of things. So we're in meritocracy. We're at 59 right now. If we hit 60, we would hit. Uh, can I hold this down? No. Um. I can't point at this, but you can see at 60 we hit martial tournaments. And we can start gaining percentages on that. Maybe unlock the unit feature of a champion um, by having this one. Once it hits 60, it starts affecting the other guys. So we'll try to balance it out with it a bit more before we go too crazy with it. I don't really know which, which is best on any of these. So um, Anyway, let's get to moving and get to conquering some things. So we're going to move all our forces down this way. Wrong button. Down that way. I'm going to move you on over... You can't go that's that's too far. We can go this way and make our way over. Also, I turned off the hexes. I, I, I like it better without the hexes in there. Um, another thing I was playing around with, I saw that you can go and do... Where is it? Graphics. Nope. General. Um, here, the small... I, actually, I think I like the smaller counters better. I think for the interest of YouTube, it's probably better to have the big ones. Just let me know what you want, and I'll, I'll adjust it. There's also the, um, the NATO counters, so you can see it that way. But yeah, I think I'll keep it on normal, just um, for the sake of YouTube's... Um, and, um, we make sure we keep these guys back. These are just, just some jerk, uh, some jerks out here, but I think I want to make sure that we just want to keep our stuff. The road's easier to walk on. Let me go and go this way. Sort of press out that way a little bit. Um, I do have a couple folks hanging around here. There's 2,400 GIs sitting in this spot right here. I was keeping them back for offensive purposes. Um... It might be an idea to move them out, though. You. Uh, not group move. I went normal move. Um, 
You guys are stationed there, aren't you? Yeah, you guys are stationed there. Um, but you, however, there's only 500 of you. I'm just gonna move you out here, just just to, you know, take a look at some things, just see what's going on over here. These are our friends, right? Yeah, Deepold, these are our friends. We're at peace with them, not friends, but, you know, let's not get carried away. Um, we're not gonna deal with them too much. I think most of our forces want to be, we are trying to squash these non-aligned forces real quick. And we can probably do that, actually, right now. Can you get in there and, and um, squash them? 1.3. 6 to 1 is pretty good. 12 to 1 odds. We should bring everyone in. Yeah, why not? 16 to 1. Let's go ahead and finish these guys off. There we go. So we, we are killing most of them. Five of them got away. Seven of them are dead. We lost nobody. All right. So there you go. And now we get Zokirk. Whatever it's called. So we'll take that town. Uh, we're going to keep an eye on uh, these major regimes. We got the town, though. Not them, so that's good for us. Um, can you come over here? We got this. I don't want these guys to come in and cause me some problems. Actually, what I'm going to do with you. We're going to see if we can just kind of cut these guys around. And see if we can, we can grab them. So, you know, first, first order of business, grab land. And so that's what we're going to do. And I think all of our resources are looking fine. Uh, for right now, so I'm going to leave it how it is, and if we find some resources out there, then we'll grab them. But for now, we don't have much. So we're going to go ahead and skip the turn here, and see what we can get next. This, um, I, I don't know how many episodes I'm going to do with this. might turn into a, an old-fashioned Let's Play if, uh, um, if folks want to see it. I, I am enjoying playing it, even though it is still early days. But, um, hopefully we'll see if I can get more than one turn done per, per day. Maybe two turns per episode this time, <laughs> if we're lucky. Uh, I'll try to move things along. Once once we get, as I said before, once you get into the game, it's not really that that crazy. There's just a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes. So in uh, old Zokirk, which is not what it says, uh, we've got 117 fuel has been secured. Okay, so we've got, uh, we're expanding. Yeah, we got 134 hexes, which is 14 more than previous turn. Excellent. Uh, one more unit supply has supply problems. The second machine gun infantry. Yeah, check out those logistical points, which I just showed off last time. And metal's a key resource. So, um... We have a we have a private asset getting metal. We've got the the um, the scavengers out there. I'll show you in a second. Zones are the first. Uh, don't have public asset that produces metal. Yeah, yeah. I know. I know. I know. Find me some metal, and then I'll do it. Uh, here in town, we've got the scavenging hub, which I could buy. Right now, they're producing a little bit. Produce fifty six metal at the start of the turn, and uh, and a bit of fuel as well. And credits. Uh, we could buy it. Nationalize it. And take it as my... I'm assuming it would do way better. We can actually see this is going to be... 5617. If I were to buy one or build one... Can I build one of the things here? Can I build a scavenging hub? I don't think I do. I, I, don't think, I guess I can't. Yeah. So we'll leave it... Um, we'll leave it away. We'll leave it how it is. Um, I'm going to decide what I want... I probably shouldn't be encroaching on their lands because I told them I wasn't going to. Um, we got to decide what what the big plan is. I think the main plan is not what I meant to do. We all ran away. Yeah, I meant not did not mean to do that. I meant you guys to step into there. There we go. And then there we can finally see what's in there. We were talking this town. We couldn't see anyone in there, but there's people just hiding out in the windows. And now we have recon. We can see there's a few folks in there, but probably not enough for us. It's probably that's good odds on their part. Yeah, they're all hunkered down in their um, one to one odds. It's only 19. Well, that's quite a few. We're, we're going to not fight this turn. But we'll get in the next turn. Move. I did not mean to move everybody over there. Not mean to do that. Is there an undo button? Um, moving them back. We don't have any action points left. It's 25. What's it take to get back there? It takes 35. Uh, nope. I just moved everyone. Oh, here we go. We got somebody to move over here. Well, I thought. Put it on normal mode, we can. Scoot over here. What have you got? Anybody? Yeah, you can move over that way. Uh, I was trying to surround him. But that didn't work. Uh, let me make sure we can get any more troops we can bring in here. We've only got a certain amount of, of uh, free people to send out. Um, we can send out the three automatic machine guns. Uh, full machine, full automatic yeah, machine guns out to there. And then can I fill the rest of these GIs? 200 of them. Now, this is our population that was doing this. See, next down here, we've got a bunch of folks coming in, and people are quite happy. And we've got, this is workers. Where's my, um, 
Here's the militia level. Where is my... Um, I forget where that button is, but we can see how many um, recruits are coming in every turn. But I don't see that. Um, all right, so we won't encroach on their borders. I will come over here and make sure we snag that up. And I'm going to move up this way. And I'm going to let you. You are actually out of supply. You can see he's right here. He's too far away from anything. So he might be, I think I might need to do something about the old supply issues. Especially this guy, because he's going to be having problems. We can take a look at him. Uh, he's just sort of on food. He's only got three. He requested ten food. He's got three. So uh, we don't want that to be too much of an issue. Um, I wonder if it would be a wise idea just to go ahead and make... What's it cost to make this thing? Truck station. A um, hundred of that. I got plenty. And a hundred of those. Which I don't have a lot of the uh, industrial points. But... See, that gives me a thousand points versus the four hundred I have right now. So I think, since we're getting where we're starting to expand a bit, maybe we should increase some logistics. And make something, you know, work. Uh, we do also have the machines uh, goods. A rail station might be a way to do this. I'm not, I'm assuming my rail stations go between towns. I'm just going to go with the truck station because I know how that works. Yes, sir. So start building that thing. That'll help us when we're expanding out further here. Um, I think we should probably head down south here. Where are we on the map? We're right in the middle, aren't we? As far as we know. All right. Uh, anything else we got to do? Oh, we got a decision here. Uh, Equality Party demands that you hire their candidate. The uh, EP faction would appreciate it if you would agree to take the candidate of ours into your service. Who is it? Um, let's take a look at this. So we have a, a couple of factions here. We have the Warrior Army, which is a, a faction of my town. And they have a certain amount of things. Charlie Vader is the guy. <laughs> Okay, so Charlie Vader. That guy seems trustworthy. I'm sure he'll be fine. He's <laughs> the leader of... He's the, the director of a Supreme Command Count. He's in... He's right there. Oh, Charlie Vader. Okay. Um, anyway, so there's two factions in my town. We've got the uh, the Warrior Army and we have the Equality Party. Um, and they each uh, have, have... You know, they each have ones they want. These guys are like fists, of course, to do. is little by a guy named Vader. And these guys are the democracy people. And uh, I'm just part of their vote they have. So we have to kind of, you know, keep them happy. Otherwise, I guess rev revolutions and all kind of nonsense happens. Uh, but yeah, you know what? Um, sure. Come on in, buddy. Uh, I'm not actually sure where that puts you. If that puts you as a... Where are you? It was, it was you, wasn't it? Must not have been. Oh, yeah, we do have Ignatius Blackmate. Are you any good at anything? Uh, actually, not too bad. Uh, yeah, you know, a little cap. You're big on democracy. Um, but you do have some charisma to you. So if I take a town, you might be a good guy to toss in as the uh, the governor, I suppose. Right now, you're just going to sit back and do nothing. Okay, so I think we're all good. Uh, nice the game, the thing this game has is little tooltips in case we do something stupid. It'll uh, yell at us. And I appreciate that. But uh, I think we're going to... In turn. Look at that. Two turns so far. Only 18 minutes in. Just screaming along here. So we got that guy over here causing issues. We can probably take him out pretty quickly. That that random folk. I think what we should do is maybe skirt down to the south here. And take out this basically free land. There's some scary animals and crazy octopus down there. But Oh, did we just find some oil? I don't remember seeing that before. This, this water here is like ice below the ground. Because obviously we're in a desert. So there's ice below ground, which is why we have that ice thing. Uh, relative calm. We got more of this uh, political point bonus. Uh, let's go for a new tech. Solar energy. Oh, yeah. All right. So we don't have solar energy, but we know we know what it is. So we can now research it if we want. We got a new card. We'll let the people march, uh, chant, and sing their ideals, which gives us a bonus five points. Bonus five of, of these uh, political points. No matter what it costs us five. I don't remember what that means. Um... Did I see that before and I just didn't catch it? Must have. I could, if we need oil over here, build an oil drilling facility. It's way out there. We have to get a logistical network up there also. I guess we'd have to put in some sort of a truck station up here also to get it up and running. We'll see if we can find one closer up by. We were supposed to be finding that stuff, scouting that out. There's another one over here too. Huh. This has all been cut off. Um, this is who? There's this Ramadis... 
And these are old Brent over here. These are oh, we found out we figured out who these guys are. They're just a bunch of farmers. Okay, okay. So you'll be able to take out easy, easy take out. I like the sound of that. Um, we got that town up where again? We're out of supply over here. The truck station is it built next turn? It's finished this turn, so it should be working next turn, like we want it to. All right. So well, let's go and so I'm not gonna go harass these guys. What about you? Mm. You without any logistics, what can you do to this? What do we got? Two to one odds. Two point nine. I could bring another truck in. I think I want the trucks to move their way this way. Who is this? America. Oh, a major regime. They're very cold. I don't know anything about them yet, though. I bet you they like freedom. Um, I will assist. No, no, we can deal with that with these guys. Make your way over this way. Major, a major regime. We want to kind of cut them off as best we can, because that's that's my land. Um, and I'm certainly we should sit on this. I'm not sure how much they will encroach on us, unless we want to go to war. I think I'm going to sit in that town though. And then you. Let's head back over this way. Try to form a bit of a wall over there. Everyone else, um, you stay there. Go ahead and fight them. 3.3 to 1. Not the best odds, but... Engaging enemy. Let's see if we can go without losing too many people. Or anybody, ideally. There we go. We didn't lose anybody. Okay, get them out of here. This is my land. March on up. Um, we can try to get some supplies over that way with... Uh, well, we'll get it next turn. Once that thing gets built, we'll be fine. Hopefully. This was who? This was the raiders. This is all raiders. Okay. Um, basically, you're just scout man, okay? Oh, there's their capital right there. This will make them mad, but I just want to see what you're all about. Okay, I'm going to have you guys go ahead. Do we send everyone in here? Can we crush these guys once and for all? I think so. We lost a couple. Lost five. Mission They've lost three. Special. There we go. Okay, that's my town. Move on in. Move on in. I want you... No one else wants to move in? Oh, you don't want to go back over here. It's too much. Okay. Yeah, everyone... Uh, yeah, these trees are too much to walk through. You guys are a little bit wounded. Sure, just take one big stack. You already moved. Okay, we got ourselves a new town. Excellent. The, um, you may see the movement points here. It's it's thick, heavy force, which is why it's taking so long to walk through here. Um, it's I think it does play pretty well with the um, the terrain being a big effect on on movement and logistics and all that. Mountains are certainly a, a massive uh, help if you're trying to uh, form a wall or something. Um, I want to any more troops? We, we're going to need some replenished because we lost a few folks. We can go and send in the one machine gun. I kind of want to build another if I can. I kind of want to build another formation. It's a little brigade. Nothing big. 5,500 infantry. Can I do this? Do I have... No, I don't have anywhere near enough for that. I only have 400 people here. Recruits. Itching to go out and fight. I can raise that. I can talk my my governor and say, Hey, bring in some more recruits so we can bring up a bit, a bit of an army. Um, I won't, though. Next turn. Uh, Electra wants to organize a party. We feel we do not so. Uh, I do. I feel we do not show any gratitude to our veterans. My plan is to organize a grand party for all our veterans, including a parade, to support this effort with my humble means and leadership. Says, old Peter. So we say, yeah, do it. It gives us a government and a heart boost. We've got no. We'll pass no, but uh, we'll pass them on to the responsible bureaucrat, which lowers government and uh, increases mind, which I like the sound of that because we're kind of focusing on mind for the most part. Um, or we say, get out of here, you're a jerk. Um, he won't like that, so he'll lose some, some favorability with me. But I think, actually, heart is looking, that would bump us up heart in the next tier. What's heart give us? Do we want heart? Next tier, we get friendship. Character loyalty bonus. We get a force march card, and we get a musical band. A band? Okay. Copy that. All right, national budget allocations. All right, so we have to change our allocations for our budget if we want. And I think I might just, just, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Roger that. 
Okay. Uh, and change the um, whoever's in charge of those those places are either happy or not happy. Now I don't know what's what we should do next. Um. Let me see here. In the tech tree. Most of the stuff is is um, economic. There's also military research council. We need military research council for any of these more things. We only have to get, I think we have to get three of them before we move on to the engineering one, which is down here. But it's, again, it's all military council. So I suppose we should do that. I don't really know any better. So uh, military research council sounds like a plan to me. Let's add it in there. We got a new guy. We can pop him in there whenever we get it done. Threat of War. President of Orfrost has contacted us with his raiders are ready and willing to invade us. He will not do it if we give him 200 bucks. I can say we bribe him. We get some mind bonuses. People aren't happy about this. Or we say, no, we will not. The insolence must, has to be punished and we will fight him. It says Charlie Vader. I'm sure Charlie Vader is just itching to kill somebody. And uh, Charlie, I'm with you. We'll strike them down with all our hatred. Uh, is this Orfrost over here? Yeah, these are the guys. So they are mad. They're probably going to attack me here. That gives us an idea where we're going to be marching off to, though. These guys, once they're done, we're going to march them up north. And I'm going to keep these guys down south. But we can build ourselves a new army. Actually, let me chat with... Where is he? Hey, uh, hey, Oscar. Uh, I, need, I need some orders. I would like some new recruits. So we're going to give them 15 bucks per recruit. I want... I want like a thousand per turn, please. Oops. Give me a thousand recruits per turn. Can you give them a little less though? Uh, I got I got money. And also, by the way, if we have worker needs, we'll recruit him. If we have a shortage or fire him, he'll deal with all this stuff. Um, yeah, I think I think um, we'll get a, a, a thousand new recruits next turn, and then we'll that will just sort of build ourselves an army up a bit. Yes, sir. Cost me two points to talk with him every turn, which is no problem right now. Anything we have here? Um, do we have anything we can do here? Officer of Protector, end the war and go to peace. We have a card for that. We can craze, uh, increase or decrease our income tax. Meeting of a CEO. Not sure why I would want to do that right now. Um, what's that? Discuss our policy regarding this cult, the Anima Circle. We, anima or Enema? And then we've got removes the amount of control for the corporation, the antitrust laws. Uh, bolt metal door on the rock face. Who knows what we'll find if we open it? That's an excellent question. We need another fate or another um, what's it called? Is that called fate points? We have a fate point for that, and there's two for that one too. Okay. Uh, there's there's meat. There's music. We make people happy, and let people march, chant, and sing for the ideals, which is a popular rowdy. It makes people happy, basically. Um, no, none of those. All right. Um, next turn, I think. We'll see if we can get our, our army built here before too long. And we'll uh, march up northeast. I'm not seeing any any fighting yet. I assume they would fi fight me here. I don't know what they've got there. They may not have much. They are raiders. So we'll see. Well, most of our forces, actually all of our forces, are through the south. We almost got these guys cut off. We can finish them off probably pretty quickly. Two decisions here. We got this thing right with calm and all that. We got a uh, oh, we have a merc. Grit's a mercenary, probably uh, at least monetary skilled in the art of war. Excellent. Assign a regular or militia unit. Increase XP through combat. Oh, a priest. Um, I'd like to do that. I like to. I want to do this one. Yeah. Roger that. New leader's been appointed the the pool. Okay, and then um. Um, pills? New doctor is in town selling pills. We get an increase in arrests and we gain some fate points. That seems like a risky one. Uh, where is the, um, this one? A free priest. Assign it to regular or militia units. Increase XP through combat. So we assign it to one of our units. Um, I say we add it to this guy right up here. Do you count as a... Do you, can I put it on you? Only on non... Oh, he's an HQ unit, of course. Um, but you probably shouldn't be up charging like that. Let's give it to... I want someone that's... What are you? Machine gun infantry. Yeah, I'll give it to you guys. Here you go. What can I put on you? You get selected. Hey. 
Hmm. I'm not sure. I'm sure how to put it on somebody. Hmm. All right. Well, all right. Uh, new director for the Military Research Council. So we got to figure out who's going to go and sit in on that. I don't know what they need for this. It does. I think there's little pips for it. Oh, there isn't. I thought there was. Um, so I don't know. Military, assuming war, makes sense. Uses as a modifier for skill rolls or as a uh, critical stat for your military leaders. I mean, it makes sense. It makes sense that war. And um, is that what it's telling me there? And um, intelligence. Seem like those are the things that we want to have. This guy isn't very good. They want me to put him in there, but I don't think he's quite the guy we want. So I'm going to give it to uh, old Ronald Bohr here. Okay. Understood. So he likes me a lot. And uh, other leaders oh, seem to like him because he is a, he's a, a trusted guy. Now... I think I'm going to put things into, again, same way. We're going to put it in here into the uh, re discovery first, then research. Understood. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, um, how you feeling, buddy? You are a little short on food. Yeah, I know. Is that thing built? This is built. It's giving a 1,000 out there, so we should be getting plenty of supplies out there now. I, I, I don't... It's got the blue to it. I don't remember what the blue means. It's not reading what it, what it wants, though, for sure. Um, a lot of folks want extra units also. Can we replenish some of those troops? Okay, just the 500 infantry that need to go out. How many, how many recruits do we have? Uh, get to that. We've got 1,400 ready to go out. So let's go ahead and replenish what we've got. And then uh, that'll help us out for next turn. We've got 500, is that what it wanted? What it, what it, yeah. And then we got the 500 requested, 500 going out. Okay. Um, you don't have any supply, do you? So the green folks apparently are fighting these these guys off as well. Um, make our way up this way. Well, hopefully they stick to their side. I'm gonna make sure I get you back up over here, and let's go ahead and finish off this guy by way of here. Move on in. Can we squash this guy now? Did I just ruin your? I did. Um. Yeah, we'll surround that guy. Who's over here? Hmm. Non-aligned forces again. Okay. All right. Um, I'm hoping... Let's go here. I'm hoping you keep them back. I don't think they'll cross me unless... Unless we... Uh, what am I trying to say? Unless we're at war. Move on back, buddy. All right, well, you know what? Let's take a peek. No recon in here, so we're not sure what they've got, but we know they've got... It's their base. I'm sure they've got more than what we have. Um. This guy, how you feeling? Let's go. This is Ramadis. That's not a line over there. I'm going to run you back up over here. Just to kind of work on this north side over this way. And then all of you are going to go in and finish this guy off. Not the best odds. So we have no supply here, but we'll take it. We need ammo. I know I'm, you know I'm working on it. They need supply. Okay. We lost, what, one guy? Okay. I didn't like him anyway. Alright, so this is all our territory now. Um, let's go ahead and... Anyone have any action points to get out of here? Uh, nope. Nope. None. Alright, so we'll move up as soon as we can next turn. Uh, I, I'm assuming our supplies should be getting out there. Again, it takes roads. Not there. Build some roads, I guess, to them. Uh, make your way up that way, and you're going to go over there. And then we've got not quite enough troops to build ourselves an army, but we're going to work on it. So, uh, I think that's all we got to do with this turn, though. I do believe. Um, we've got... Um, I should call it a day here. So, um, yeah, let's do that. So thanks again for watching. And I'll see you next time.